to talk a little bit about pruning roses right now. Uh, you know, in some ways this bush is ideal, in some ways it's not ideal, because this is a bush where, you know, the, the family is just kind of learning about gardening and that kind of stuff. Uh, so if it was someone that was, well, kind of a, a, an experience or sort of on that master gardener thing, they may have pruned this bush, this rose bush, a little differently. But since most of us aren't like that, this is a perfect bush for the rest of us. Okay, first thing, in the fall of the year when you prune your roses back, and they did this really well, whether they knew it or not, you want to leave them a little bit long. Because if you go all the way back to here, say, as that happened one year at about 12 to 14 inches, and we get a really hard frost, what happens is, if all this branch was that far back, the, the frost could go all the way from, from the top of this leader into the root and kill the rose bush. Believe it or not, that's happened three or four times in the 23 years that I've been at Living Water when we have long sub-zero winters, even when people uh, mulch their roses and insulate them. So these guys have left plenty to work with, which is very cool. We're going to use our imagination a little bit though. Okay, no matter what, if you pruned your, your roses back, you're a rose professional, you've got them back to here, or in this case, again, just like the rest of us, when you prune in the spring, you don't want to go any further it's been damaged by the winter. See right here? Here it's all brown there. Well, the rose is alive We, we right actually, here. we have damage right here. We start to see some living nodes all the way back here. But you know what? This branch doesn't necessarily work. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy all the way back here. Remember, whenever you're pruning, don't do this. That just, that's just awful. If you want to take something back to its original leader, go all the way here. All the way here. Not two at a time and just make that cut there, and that'll, that'll work for you. Sorry about that, my, my snippers are a little, a, little, a little dull today. But see how we've gotten back there a little bit? Okay, so let's just, let's just go through this, uh, this bush and actually do it like, uh, like we know what we're doing, okay? All the way here, all right? We took a lot back, but this plant is gonna move all the way up from here. All right, again, we're gonna, here's a live node right there. We're gonna take that back there. There's a little bit of symmetry involved. Okay, good. And if you notice, I'm cutting with a little bit of a 45 degree angle. That tends to be better. Insects do not tend to invade uh, in a 45. It's actually less surface for them to come into. Don't know why I'm not an insect, but that, that's, that's kind of the way it works. All right, again, here we've got, to, we've got a living node right there. Let's cut all the way back there. All right, and this right here, this is history. This is history. You can see there's damage all the way back here. So we're going to alleviate this. We're going to alleviate this branch. And again, we're going to cut it back here so that we don't leave a big baseball bat at the end of our rows. Here we go. Here, here, here. It's, that's, all, that's all winter damage. But there we've got a living node. Again, a 45 and viola. This is going to be a great little rose bush. You know, roses are funny because they don't always look great when we've got them cut back. But this is going to be a great little rose bush. This is going to look wonderful uh, this spring. Uh, our homeowners and, and good friends, the Krauses that live here, I, they know what color these roses are, but I'll find out in the next couple of months and uh, maybe I'll put it in the newsletter. Okay, so we've got this bush ready for, for, for this year, okay? Now, when the bush begins to grow out and roses start to emerge, and, and, and it's important that you don't just let them die in the bush. You know, you, that's what you have roses for. They're beautiful outside, make a fill up a vase or that kind of thing. But when you cut back your roses, once that, once that bloom is spent, cut it back no further than the leaf that has five leaves coming off it. Because if you cut back further, you're gonna damage the plant. So whenever you cut back your bloom, cut it back to the leaf that has five leaves. It'll have two, uh, two sets, and then it'll have two sets of two, and then one coming off that. That's as far back as you want to cut back. Don't cut back any further, because otherwise you won't get a new bloom there. All right.